what the hell is quantum computing? So now, I'm asking this, having talked to you about this a lot. And, and still yet, not knowing, and we're gonna film this I one. Think, I don't think I'm a, I don't consider myself to be a stupid person, but quantum scrambles my brain. So talk to me like I'm a child. It, you can use your book. I can use my book. So we have quantum uh, computing. Quantum computing for babies for you. All right, so John said, so this is a ball. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so look, let, let's talk about this. Yes. This is part of why we wrote this book is that quantum computing is very complex. You know, uh, Niels Bohr, Richard Feynman, uh, these, they have all made Who are they? They are very famous physicists, and they've all said things like, uh, if you think you know quantum mechanics, then you don't know quantum mechanics, right? This is a general thing. So don't feel bad that you're like, I still don't get it. Um, there are people who've been working in 20 and 30 years, and there's aspects they have no idea. But basically, in 1927, at the fifth Solvoy conference, Einstein and Heisenberg and Schrodinger and all the physicists you've heard about in pop culture uh, got together. And this is really where kind of the idea of quantum mechanics was really discussed by the, the Illuminati of physics, if you will. And that created arguments, Einstein's famous uh, statements about spooky action at a distance where he didn't believe two particles could be you know, faster than the speed of light and the way that they communicate if they were entangled, all of these debates. And so great, fast forward to 1980, Feynman and, and Binioff write a paper about uh, the computer as a physical system and basically argued that, you know, they're, they're not digital. Uh, if you look down in the transistor, you'll see the little gate holding the electrons, right? Like it's, hmm. like it's a physical thing. Right. And because it's a physical thing, you could use some part of a spin of an electron or something to calculate on. So the way I like to explain it, which I think, I think I brought this for you because I know yeah. I've tried. Yes. So give me my, so give me the time you get it. I'm, okay. I'm convinced. Is if you take a coin mm -hmm. and you put it flat on this table in front of us, heads up, it's a one. You flip it over, it's a zero. Everything from your iPhone to the iPad, the cameras, supercomputers, that's how they all work. Binary. It's a binary system. Yes. Take the same coin and flip it in the air. And when it's at the apex of that spin, is it a one or is it a zero? And the answer is it's in a quantum superposition of every potential probability, depending on who you talk to, across every potential universe, known or unknown, of a one or a zero. And until like a coin toss, we stop it and measure it, because the act of measurements causes quantum systems to collapse, then it comes out as that we still get a one or a zero as an answer. However, in that state, we can explore mass amounts of information. So let's say that you and I wanted to travel to 14 seconds. So I want, before you jump sure. to, to the application. Sure. Okay, so computing, traditional computing is binary. Right. Ones and zeros. Absolutely. And every conceivable number and every fraction can be represented through with Some binary, binary system. But, so when we think of 32 bit, 64 bit, mm -hmm. 512 bit, the, the, like we're, we're talking about So hang on, so binary, let's, roll, right? let's roll with that. Let's say we have a four bit system. It has 16 potential outcomes, right? We, Each bit is the one or zero, right? Right, and yeah. we have 16 potential outcomes. We can only be in any one of those outcomes at one time. Okay, and if we add a fifth bit, now we have 25 and we can still only be in one of those. If we have four qubits, we can be in all 16 outcomes at the same time when we're doing our calculation. And if we add a qubit, we have two to the end the number of bits in the system. So it grows exponentially. The example that I think would help you yeah. is we're gonna go film a TV show together. Someday, we, we joke about it all the time. At some point, we're gonna do a TV show. So let's say we wanna take this crew to 14 cities. I could write something on our Macs that in about three to 5,000 seconds would give us the most optimized plan. Okay, travel. And <laughs> where to travel where at the go, shortest distance. Where we go, how we go, when we go, whatever, wherever we're factoring for. You know, we only want to stay at these hotels and want this kind of food, you know, what, all of the different variables. We could take it and that's about what it would take. If we decided, you know what, this is going to be really popular, let's do 22 cities. Difference of only eight. That same laptop would take thousands of years to get to what's called the evaluation time for that answer. And if we went to 28 cities, it would take longer than the time of the known universe. This is an example I got from Michelle Sims Simmons, who's doing wonderful work with silicon quantum computing down in Australia. And I think it's a really good example for you to understand because that puzzled look you have on your face um, tells me yes. that you now actually understand it, which is, wait, why is that the case? Why, isn't, why is 22 and 14 so different? And the reason is that there are problems that grow in their complexity 
uh, NP, NP plus hard, NP complete, BQP, all the things I just said that nobody will Google or know. Uh, yeah, and they, they just they, might have, they, you might have been saying gobbledygook. As right, 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 exactly. Then are these class of problems where you just add one little change, just one little thing, and all of a sudden, that's not something we do even on a supercomputer. So take breaking encryption, take finding new drugs, better battery designs, material designs. These are things that supercomputers spend years trying to model and simulate and do stuff that a quantum computer will do potentially in seconds, minutes, hours, days. If you enjoyed this clip, we've got more where that came from. Be sure to check out my full conversation with Whirly. And one of the best ways you can support us is to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss our interviews and short videos as they come out each week.